Hi, my name is Stella Eliopoulos, and I'm a senior at Medford High School. I'm in a club at school called Center for Citizenship and Social Responsibility. Each student in the club has to create and carry out a project. So I've been trying to think of something to do. At the same time, Hurricane Harvey hit. This is when I started thinking about my friend in Houston. So I sat down with my advisor and we decided to do donation drive. I was very pleasantly surprised at the end of the drive how many goods we actually got. And I was really grateful to everyone who donated. And now the next step, figure out a way to actually get these goods to Houston. It was a challenge to figure out a way that we could actually get these goods down. And finally, my submaster came up to me and he said, if you don't figure out a way to get these goods to Houston, then we might just have to drop them off locally somewhere, somewhere in Boston, even at the local Goodwill in Winchester. I really didn't like the idea of that because I collected these goods specifically for Houston. I really had to, I had to figure out a solution. I sat down with my dad. He had been there in Houston for work a few weeks before the hurricane had hit. He had a contact. So he was like, this is going out on a limb, you know, it might not be anything, but I'll try it anyway. The contact responded and he was able to talk to the pastor at his church and talk to the lady of the church. It turns out they had both been working, collecting goods and distributing them for people in need at the communities that had been badly hit. And then the last thing we had to think of was how to actually get the goods down there. We rented a 10 foot U-Haul truck and we hit the roads to 14 hour days, two days of 900 miles to bring these goods down to Houston. We were driving through the community and I was looking around. It's been 10 weeks now, you know, going on 11 weeks since the hurricane and there were just piles of debris, devastation everywhere. We make it to the church. We pulled up at first and we weren't really sure if we were in the right place since there was nobody else there. We got out of the truck. Um, Lady Taylor showed up, she showed us where to bring the truck, where to unpack the goods and bring them. We ended up having an inventory of a lot of toilet paper, a lot of clothes, sheets and linens, non-perishable foods, canned goods, toiletries, household items such as dishware, silverware, glasses, a bit of freezer, school supplies, big variety of stuff. We could really tell that she was so grateful that we were able to get all these goods down there and for everything that we brought. Three days of traveling and we unpacked the truck and hugged her goodbye and it was time to go home. It was really an amazing experience and it was really unlike anything I've done before, anything um, I've even imagined doing, especially now in high school. The final phase of my project is, is fundraising. The trip essentially cost around $2,000 really hoping to reach reach that amount so we can cover those costs. So I, I started a little blog about the whole experience about my story. Uh, you can check it out. There's information about what happened, you know, why I did the project, what the project was like, what the experience was like. And I just want to thank everyone who donated, everyone who's thinking of donating. Um, all your efforts are so appreciated and none of it, none of this could have happened without everybody's help.